Shit, I was having bother with a spreader here. I hate sheep. Good luck, phone. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's a drill working here. Cold one this morning. Cows are getting through this, but they'll not finish it. They'll be switching to silage in two weeks. Got two rails up here to take up to the yard. mess. <sighs> Outside the rail just collapsed. That's why I'm needing that to close slightly more. It doesn't close enough. Coos sorted there. Flatbed's on. Head along the road to yard too. I need to pick up some gates. And um, they're pig gates but I need to use them for sheep because we don't have sheep gates. Oh boy. Right, I these gates onto a pallet. Hopefully they'll fit out the door. I'm not 100% on that. There's the moment of truth. Go hard against that side. If we hit that side, then we're gonna have to carry them all out. Oh, you're joking! It's just this top one that's catching over there. It's coming! It's coming! It's coming! Right, we're out. Literally five mil wider, and they weren't coming out. I'll do them. If you're new and you're not subscribed, click the big red button down there, subscribe, see if we can get to 5,000. We're getting there. As of today, we're at 4,700, so we're getting there. Subscribe if you can and click the like. I had a question of the day, but I've thought of a better one. What is your worst mistake? If you're a farmer, worst farmer mistake on the farm. If you're not a farmer, just worst mistake in general. Go on, base in you come. There we go. All in. Get a flatbed off, get a livestock trailer on, switch about again. This trailer's going off and on and off and on, all the trailers. Anyway, and then get some sheep into the trailer, they're away to get scanned. Right, this one's off. I'm going next door to that one, so. Well, that's stay upright, hope so. Sweet as a nut. Well, I'll just put them in one by one. What? This 
No, 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 that's not right, huh? Well, well, I'll stand back. <laughs> Done with these? Yeah. Well, then, there you go. That was some entertainment. You can tell me and Dad don't do sheep. Me and Dad are not proficient in the, the sheep game. Sheep game vlogs. Nah. Going on the back end from the front end, just about to be honest. If you watch Cami from the Sheep Game on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever, go and comment down below in his videos. We need to get him up to Gogwen Farm to do the tractor challenge. He's pretty handy with sheep. I'm awful with sheep. He's handy with sheep. We'll see what he's like with a tractor and trailer out of version. That'd be an interesting one. And tell him he can get a bacon roll at the shop as well on the house. So if you do watch him, go and comment down below in his videos. Or if you don't watch him, go and watch him. He's a fellow Scot, makes good content really funny guy and definitely worth subscribing to anyway coos are needing bedded shake her back they've been scanned one's empty one's got twins one's got triplets phone couch but an old Jew's just gone in there so she's empty the one at the front there green mark on her head she's empty so she's gonna go away um, to the slaughterhouse with the other two and they're all going to go through the butchery. And then we've got two in here. Maybe these two are in lamb. That one's got triplets. This one's got twins. And they're going to go back up to the top field there. Took the wrong path, but go on, just way up, way up, and then you go. Shot down there instead of going in there. That's a better shot. I hate sheep. I hate them. There she is. Come on, beast. Stupid things. Go, run. <laughs> Keep going. That way. Got a wee hobbyist. I fancy a few sheep. Got a wee field. Don't get them. Yeah, bah, bah, bah. It's all very good. No, no, wrong way. Just keep going. There's a gap there for you. If it was a gap to escape, she'd find it. It's a 1v1. Come on, then, beast. Oh, you silly animal. There was a gap to come this way. And she went through that gap. Silly beast. Ah, sheep, what they like. This is also a fence at the moment, these bales. Because this whole thing's getting taken down. So there's no point putting a new bit up to replace it, to fill the gap. Right, five slot chairs coming off again. And the flat bed's going back on again. Five slot chairs needs a wash. Flat bed, and um, going to pick up carrots. Not necessarily right now, but today at some point. Yeah, I was having bother with a spreader here. Just got it put on, well, put it along the road yesterday, sent up to get it calibrated, but the box, so this isn't, the tractor's not section control unlocked. So this has got a box, so this is the only thing that's section control. So the box won't link up with a tractor or the spreader. Don't know why. I'm going to try and give Amazon a call see if they can help but so far it's been a tricky one he's been after it all morning trying to get it to run but something's not right right we're away from box of carrots we need to fight the shop are running low on carrots so we'll get freshened up one they get used just sold us those carrots to the shop and then they're used for soups and salads and things like that 
just about forgot we've got a few empties to go back get these strapped down and we're off Yeah, still trying to figure that out there we go nice clean carrots i'm loaded with carrots but this is my nanny's house so i'm gonna get a biscuit got my lunch as well smashing right away home with these carrots right i'm home Better spread are still in the same position, so I don't look too good. Get these carrots off, get them up to the back of the shop. Spoke to Kev there, and he's waiting on a phone call from Amazon, a guy phoning back. And he just got a phone call there, so I'll leave him to it, and hopefully that'll be fixed. Just can go in here. That old office container is probably gonna get sold so that'll be to come out of here. There's still a question to be answered that, how we get out, but most likely a too far left job. Bit of heaving and hoeing. Looks like the first bit is going. I'm going to join Kev, just calibrating it, setting it up so, it, so it's spreading the right amount in the right places. This is a compound we got sent the other day, so it's 10, 15, 21, but it's came direct from Poland, and there's no labels on the side of it. You only kind of read it off of this, 10, 15, 21. There you go, that's where it's come from. Manufactured six months ago. There you go, so we'll get a pile of that into there and then we'll get it spread with calibration boxes spread out wide and then we'll find out how well it's spreading and adjust it if it needs to be. What a mess, gutters here. That's the corner we could do with sorting out because it's a mess. Fill it with planings because we put a feeder in there, the troughs in there and the gates in there. So everything's in the one place. So. You're never going to get any grass growth in there. Anyway, let's get this calibrated. So these are calibration boxes and these grids fold out. Anyway, that basically just catches it, stops it bouncing out the box. Do that with all of them and then they get spread out. We spent 24 meters with this machine. So Kev's just set two AB lines, which are 24 meters apart and we put the boxes, these boxes, between the first set of tram lines and the second set. And it'll drive along here, spreading, 360, drive along the other way, spreading, and then it should uniformly have spread across the gap. And if it's not, you make adjustments to how it's spreading, because it doesn't spread like exactly to 12 meters, then drop off. It spreads as like a decreasing amount further than 12 meters, say like 16, and then the other side coming back the way is the same, and then as they overlap, they end up the same. Right, good to go. First drops down onto those two spinners, one and two, and then gets whoosh, flung out. I'll put you under the tracks of the tractor. There you go, good luck. I'm heading out of the way so don't get battered by that. Go. Now we measure. Test one, pretty similar. Can't get much better than that. There's different ways of doing it all, but this is where we're doing it at the moment. This test doesn't use both sides of the machine, so it's only testing off of one side. So we've got a bit left in the hopper, so Kev's just going to go around the opposite way around, and we're just going to marry up where the level was on the reader and make sure they're the same at both sides. I'm going to close my eyes, but camera's on. The first sample you saw wasn't very high up the inspection glass here because we weren't too sure if we had enough in the hopper, so he was spreading at quite a low rate. When we put the next fur in, we'll up it a bit just so we get a better sample representation because the bigger the sample, the more accurate it'll be. There we go. Identical, yeah. perfect. It's identical on both sides and it's identical to the last sample. So happy days. We'll just up the sample size a bit so it's fractionally more accurate. I'm just grabbing a bag of sulfur nitrogen, which is on the left there, and P and K on the right. 20, 30, P and K, so 20% P, 30% K. Good luck, phone.
you made it. We're getting there. Nice day. We just tested P and K. It was bang on the money. So now we are going to sulfur nitrogen. Test it. Quick wee sample. So here's your P and K. I don't know this for certain, but I've assumed that K is the red one. There you go. It's more granular than uh, the rest of the product we spread. It's more, it's more actually spherical. This is more like a wee stone grit rather than the rest of it's more. Well, let's cut this bag open, but it'll be wee balls. Right, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Oh, it's either manganese or magnesium. I never get that right. Um, sodium, sulfur, calcium. Was that correct? Don't know. And I don't really know these ones. I'm going to go for boron, copper, zinc. So that's that's the one that's manganese or magnesium, and I never get it right with that M and that M, Mg or Mn. I'm going to say that's manganese and that's magnesium. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, someone will know. Fe. Don't know that one. Done. Done. Cobalt. Cobalt? And I don't know that one. Oh, that's selenium. Should have known that one. Went and checked what it was. Selenium. There we go, we're into the sulfur nitrogen now. See, it'll nip past. It'll go on just about now. There you go. And it'll stay on until he's spreading well beyond the boxes. Make sure it's an accurate sample. It's past there now, and that's him off. These two bags are done with, one more bag to get, bag of urea. These two can just go here, they'll get used first when we start spreading. Get one bag of urea, which is right here, the expensive stuff. These are horrible bags, they're just like really tall. One for stacking them, two for curtain side lorries, getting them off and on for the forks. Yes, we could get a bag. Uh, lifter which basically ends up with forks up here which gives you that much more lifting space but we don't have one and we get away with it you don't need it it's probably safer with a bag lifter though Last sample, that's urea. Fractionally out, but they disregard one line, and if it's within the next line, you're still good. Looks good to me. Job done. Especially this year, it's good to make sure the machine's well calibrated. Do it every year, but it's good to have it well calibrated, and you know that that really expensive nitrogen is not going to waste. Just getting these two machines out for a comparison on size. Little and large. Oh,